All right, title. So we got our board briefing for the 30th of August, which is a Wednesday. We have a great barbell session for you. Basically, it is 30 minutes of clean and jerks. Every two minutes, we're going to perform two touch and go clean and jerks. So no pausing at the bottom, no pausing at the hip. Okay. You can pause at the shoulder if you need to on the way up and on the way down but they must be touch and go reps to count as the, for the reps to count, right? How it's gonna work. We have the first 10 minutes, add a load, and then the second 10 minutes, hopefully we're going up and load, and then the third 10 minutes, we're going up and load again. There is no weight changes during the 10 minute session. So we stay at one weight, move up, stay at that weight for 10 minutes, move up, stay at that weight for 10 minutes. Unless we start getting out of control and the technique starts going awry, then we're able to drop weight, but no adding weight. Run what you brung, be smart about your jumps, know what's going on. Percentage wise, nah, not really any percentage, but maybe when we get to the end, so the last 10 minute session, is about 80% of your max if you're moving well. So when prescribing something like this, it's more of, okay, how are we doing today and how are we moving today? Instead of just like, oh, I need to go for 80% and that's set in stone. It's not set in stone because if your 80% is over the edge of not sticking with technique, then we need to back the weight off a little bit, okay? So, um, Really want to lit our this is a heavy day, but we also are prioritizing technique and mechanics over anything. We did a lot of front squats yesterday. Front squat, you can clean it, so which means you're going to pass through parallel. You can also par power clean it, which means you can catch it above parallel. Okay, you can push jerk it or you can split jerk it. Let's keep the push jerk and the split jerk technique solid. So a solid jerk would be making sure those arms are locked out and we're not pressing out at the last second, um, AKA getting into that bar quickly, okay? Um, if you decide to squat it, decide to squat it. You will probably move heavier loads if you're gonna squat it. However, your legs might be super fatigued from all the front squats the, uh, yesterday. So keep that in mind. Let's lift heavy, um, but keep the technique in check and really go for it. All right, guys, have fun with this one. It's going to be a great day. Enjoy.